Kyle talked about this last time, so I'm sure we could talk about it right now. You're kind of in motion to open up your own while I'll let you go. No, distillery. I mean, first of all, yeah, I think maybe we talked about opening a brewery. No way in hell I would ever open up a brewery. I remember that part. I had the, yeah. a brew day from hell today. Up, bad. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong. But uh, yeah, like brewing. distilling, man. What's that? That's why I quit brewing. I'm, I'm a retired <laughs> poser for life <laughs> i'm sorry so yeah. you had a shitty uh, brew day so last time we talked about this you said last time kyle was on we did one of the uh, few sober hoppy hours but you were saying that distilling is way more forgiving than home brewing yeah um no so, doubt you know if i if i were to ever open up some sort of a beverage you know factory or uh whatever i, I would i would go the distilling route over brewing because you know if you brew if you screw up a batch of beer like you're done man you're done like it's, you're not going to, you know, there are a lot of some defects you can fix, but there are a lot of defects that you can't, and you're just going to dump that down the drain. However, if you are a distiller, I mean, so there's a reason why, you know, Tennessee whiskey is made, it's, it's like sour mash whiskey. They literally are like essentially making sour beer. Can you, can you always salvage like, it? Can you always come back from distilling? Um, I believe ever? so. I mean, okay. you know, I have, I haven't like, you know, tested um, the products that you sell. I'm just kidding. I'm yeah, kidding. Yeah. But it, uh, it looks like I'm if just you're just say... extracting all the alcohol out of it, you kind of have like a clean slate. But again, I've never, I've never distilled. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're. They're going to be. Here's the thing. This is this is the thing about distilling. Like it's magic, dude. It's like, it's science, but it's also magic. You know, it's it's you. So what you're doing when you're distilling is you're taking the chemical compounds that are in like essentially this beer. And you are separating them out into these different, um, you know, components. They're individual components, right? So, you know, for the, essentially what you're doing is you're trying to take all the alcohol and like stuff that's similar to alcohol in its chemical composition and get it out. And you're leaving all the water behind. And what you do, the process for doing that is basically it's just like you're taking advantage of the fact that ethanol has a much lower off, boiling temperature seriously. than where alcohol has a much lower boiling temperature than water does. But, you know, within that spectrum of, like, ethanol isn't the only thing that comes out when you distill. There's all these different sorts of, um, there are all these different alcohol types and chemical components that come out at different times. So, like, acid, um, like acetyl alcohol, right, will Is come out. that makes you blind? Uh, that's methanol. So like the very first thing that comes out and, and by the way, like in almost like in all alcohol, beer, wine, there is methanol. There's a little bit of methanol in everything, right? Okay. So like I'm drinking a tiny little bit of methanol with this beer. The, the risk with distilling is that you pull all of the ethanol out at once because it has the lowest boiling, a uh, boiling temperature of all of the stuff that you're pulling out, right? So all like all of the first stuff that comes out of a still, right? If there's a lot of methanol or a significant quantity of methanol, like all of that's going to come out in one at once, right? So like not at the same time, but just over the first in the first you know x amount of minutes of the distillation run. So if you're doing a really big run, conceivably you could pour out a whole pint of eth of methanol before the ethanol and other stuff comes out. And if you were to drink just a full pint of methanol, that's going to mess you up. Like that could, that could kill somebody. That's probably why um, it's illegal. So it's possible. Uh, but here's the thing, like, you know, you, to, to produce a significant quantity of methanol, like en enough methanol to probably really hurt somebody, you would have to be doing a really large run, no. right? Because if you were to like distill all of the methanol out of a single beer, right? You could just go ahead and drink it. It wouldn't matter because it's such a tiny little bit. It's diluted. But if you do in like a thousand gallon still run, like batch, um, that's gonna that could potentially produce a lot of methanol at the front end of that run. If distilling was legalized, but it was just capped at a certain like still size, five gallon that batch, would be a that, pretty yeah. easy way. Like a ten gallon still, man. Like that'd be a pretty easy way to, you know, allow people to experiment and then keep them safe.